up to speed, week in review. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Friday, time to recap another epic week around Verizon. Yeah, what a busy week. We spent the week asking our Verizon employees, why do customers choose Verizon? Well, we heard a lot of interesting things. Have a look. Take that out. Take that out. Yeah. How many customers we've spoken to in the last 18, 18 years? years? Oh my goodness. I've talked to tens of thousands of customers. The one thing that I consistently hear from customers when they say why they chose Verizon, it's one word. Reliability. When you need it, it's there. No excuses. You get the best people, you get the best network, you get the best service. Customers choose Verizon because it gives them options. Mix and match all the way. Verizon up, baby. Who doesn't like rewards? Like <laughs> Customers come to Verizon for our product, but they stay with us because of the customer service. When you get Verizon, you get us. Nobody can touch our customer experience. Customers today, they want to do business with companies that are socially responsible. We actually care about our environment, we actually care about our communities and our society. We've proven to them that we're so much more than just a wireless carrier. They depend on us, they trust us. They're proud to say, I have Verizon. We're the best of the best of the best, no comp. With 130 million customers, that's 130 million reasons why customers choose Verizon. So why not turn to them to help us tell our story? Well, that's exactly what we're doing this Sunday during the Academy Awards broadcast when we debut a new ad campaign that features real customers telling their stories of why they choose Verizon. I caught up with Chief Creative Officer Andrew McKechnie earlier this week to learn a bit more. I think this year uh, we've leaned into the, the notion of these real stories, um, bringing up authenticity to life. Um, in a way that I think uh, kind of reflects a lot of the work that we that, that was successful for us in terms of the human ability, best for a good reason, uh, our brand moments around military, first responders, pride, uh, you know, the I would say the tone and the authenticity of those moments really resonated with everyone. Um, and there's no better spokesperson than our customers and engineers. Be sure to check out the Academy Awards at 8 p.m. Eastern on ABC this Sunday to see the ads and also to see if Lifeboat, a film produced by Riot, part of Verizon Media, takes home the Oscar for Best Documentary Short. Best of luck to the entire Riot team. Yeah, I hope they come back with a golden statue. Now, investors have a lot of interest in our business. There's no doubt about that. Yesterday, we held an Investor's Day to update them on 5G, our network, and other things that are going on. Our teammate, Eric Wilkins, has the recap. Hello from New York City, where more than 150 analysts and investors met with our senior leaders. Here are the highlights. We announced plans to launch 5G ultra wideband in more than 30 US cities in 2019. We also spoke about our 4G LTE network, which is the foundation for 5G. These analysts will take the information back to their investors so they can make buying or selling recommendations. Back to you. Thanks, Eric. And speaking of 5G, Hans was on hand at Samsung earlier this week to help unveil the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G, along with the rest of the Galaxy S10 line. On the web, we've got a recap from our colleague George from the big event, as well as all of the product details. And we've been spotlighting our awesome Verizon engineers all week during National Engineers Week. We've got two things I want you to check out is a blog post from Tara Moore, one of our wireline network leaders, as well as a Reuters podcast with Gina Wilborn. All right. It's been a great week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Don't forget to tune into the Oscars broadcast on Sunday night to see our new campaign. Until next time, you're up to speed.